I shall tell nobody that you are really a very powerful clairvoyant. One day you will learn to walk in solitude amidst the traffic of the world. Very rarely developed faculty in our Sapiens. In fact, I, uh, I did know that. going on about meditation in one sort or another, so I thought I'd have a crack at it. The old man must die, and the new man will discover to his inexpressible joy that he has never existed. <laughs> Your message was uh, somewhat ambiguous. Things pass away, as you will learn in your meditation. You see, Professor, my particular field covers uh, psychometry, telepathy, and uh, clairvoyance as well, so I thought perhaps. Ah, very, uh, very perspicacious of you, Doctor. Then he will find his true self, which is no self. He will see his true mind, which is no mind. Clever stuff, mind you, but not really my cup of tea. Trying to sort myself out, I suppose, after that golden age. I think they're in touch with some, oh, I don't know, some power. A little too much, perhaps, they understand. Oh, doing a bit of hairdressing on the side. Oh, no. Right, now this is what we call the Aris machine or Image Reproduction Integrating System. It translates your thoughts into pictures on this monitor here. Along the way, a man must go inside and face his fears and hopes, his hates and his loves, and watch them wither away. Could it be a meteorite? Such a thing could never happen here. It's beautiful. A gemstone. A blue jewel. It's an exercise in awareness, really. 